Generic greetings and welcome back to Satisfactory where in the previous episode our attention was focused on building computers. Now the digital abacus, the electronic brain or the cogitator, whatever you would like to call it, as you can see has four resources uh, for the input and it will be outputting, in this case, two per minute. We might overclock it but that will require a hell of a lot more overclocking on other stuff and including upgrading belts so we'll see about that one. Uh, either way we managed to get the plastic and the circuit boards in, the circuit boards obviously requiring some, uh, some building on their own. And and uh, we finally managed to get that uh, pretty much up and running to a fairly decent extent because of, uh, well, <laughs> a lot of resource uh, logistics. So um, let's focus on this episode to get these computers built, which requires cables and screws, both of which we require to bring from other places. So 60 screws, so that's 100 and it says 12.5, but we'll go on the premise of 120 a minute. And the cables, 12.5? Oh, sorry, 22.5. So we need to bring the uh, cables from up there. So that should be an easy task. And then we'll have to do the screws, which are um, elsewhere. I'm going to go there, pick up some of the steel beams, because we're going to be using some of those in a moment. Uh, so from the top there, we will hopefully be able to curve that round to the top there. And then from that point, we'll bring it down to here, and then we'll follow the same sort of path. Uh, actually, no, we don't need to bring it any further than that. That should be about fine. We'll curve it round and then straight across to here and then into there. So that is the resources that we need there. We'll probably be able to rip up that. We don't need that one anymore. And uh, we don't have one up there, so that's okay. So that is our uh, belts Mark IIs put in and that's bringing down the, uh, the cables. So that now has three of the four resources needed the other one is screws, so we can technically use the tier 2 belt, but I don't know if we are. Um, let's sort that. Um, I currently don't have enough for that anyway, so I'm going to go back over to the far end of the factory and um, get some more reinforced iron plate, just in case we do use the tier 2 ones. In terms of our... Uh, resources. We have 179 steel beams and that means that we probably don't have enough for... I don't think we have enough actually for for the tier 3s either. Uh, let's just pick up uh, 1, 2, 3, 4... I think we'll pick up a 5 stack there just because it's most likely going to be a tier... Uh, a Mark 2 problem rather than a Mark 3. Uh, it means obviously we can't overclock anything because we just won't have the throughput on that, but um, eh, at least our problems. So, speaking of problems, we need to check just to see how many screws we can get and where we're going to bring them through. Let's just double check this. We can see that we have... Ooh, there's been advancements in... I was going to say time, but that's not the case. There's been advancements in... Uh, Sorry, I was going to say, there's been advancement in technology, no, there's been advancement in time, which is why we've got um, 200 of those, which means the jetpack is um, very, very much uh, on the horizon there. So let's go and uh, sort all that, because we are full. This is where we've got our screws coming along, and we need to get them over to that machine that we can't see. Uh, hang on, we might be able to see it if we get up here. Let's get a bird's eye view, we can uh, see roughly where we need to go. We need to go over there. We need to bring it to that one there. And we can't cross there because that's where we've got our that's where we've got our truck coming around. We could bring it up and across and down, but I don't think that's realistic. So I think instead what we'll do is we'll come from here and we'll go down through there, over that and go that away. And okay. Uh okay that's that's pretty much set. So I wanna make I want to have it... I actually do want to take a bit of a long route, and the reason for that is we have to think about getting all of these, the other ones connected up as well. If we just go straight down like that, it's going to cross those two boxes and we'll never be able to use them, so... Yeah, we'll not do that. Uh, so from here, we'll have this uh, lined up. Is that lined up? It looks like it is aligned, yes. So we'll have it lined up. Um, actually, it's going to go that way. So one. That was wrong, but... Uh, four, two, three. And that should be the correct height for that one. 
goes up just a little bit. Not a fan of that. Let's just delete those two. And into there. Right, so that will go over and in... Can we make it? It doesn't say it's a distance problem, so we might be able to... Nah, it's just off. It's just... Oh, no, we can. We can by taking a bit of a weird route. Um, it'll have to go to there, but that's that's fine. Uh, at least we've brought it along to there now. And then, quite frankly, uh, just direct now. Um, although, we're going to have to get up and over this thing, so... Do that. It's gonna. Uh, it's got a little bit of a curve in there, but you know, not a big problem. And then the belt's gonna run. Um, I'll run it parallel to these machines. And actually, you know what? We could, if we do, we go straight down or do we not? I think we don't. I think we go up here. And to here, and then we'll put in the stackable pole again. And that should be it. That should hopefully have all the resources we need. And are they flowing? Yes, they are. I was going to say, um, if they're not flowing, then that's going to be a problem. That is a problem. It's actually going through the ground. Um, mechanically, it will still function without any great issue, but uh, it also looks complete terrible and just wrong, so we're not going to do that. Uh, invalid aim location. No, I'm pretty sure it's correct. There we are. And then down to here. And then finally um, to there. And then to about there. And there we go. That should be now computers uh, being produced, I think. I'm pretty sure that's the last of the resources that we need. Um, not seeing any of these screws come along, but to be fair, as I said, that is only Mark II belt, so it's not the fastest. We've got power, we've got circuit boards, we've got cables, and we've got the plastic. So that is good. How much have we got in here? Uh, we've got a oh, fairly decent amount, actually. I'm going to pick up the circuit boards. And the reason for that is I'm probably going to uh, manually make some computers anyway, just so I can uh, try and get the jetpack. So let's go down to computers and we can produce one. Yay. Uh, <laughs> okay, so it's a cable problem. Um, what I'll do then is I'll just... Uh, I frankly just pick up all that cable and uh, it won't take long to to refill um, can we press can we just press E along this one um, you can't hold it actually you have to just you have to keep mashing the button which is disappointing um, but there's the screws coming along and that should be producing soon then let's have a look there's the screws counting up uh, 112 and we've put in Mark Twos, 120. Yeah, so that's that is right on the edge of what can be uh, what can be brought through and whatnot. Any overclocking would be of no, well, wouldn't be wouldn't be any point in it at all. Um, so oh, we now also need screws. Right, let's just pick that up and just move on. Um, that should be producing now. In fact, I can hear it. There we go. That's our first computer being built. Excellent. So, I'm going to go down the bottom. I'm going to put in the reinforced, heavy, uh, encased modular frames, whatever they're called. Uh, heavy modular frames. Keep forgetting the names of things. And there we go. So now we just need the computers, which we have. We do have six, so we got that going for us, which is nice. Um... What? Do we just need screws then? Hang on, let's see if there's any spare screws around here. And I should be able to uh, hopefully make these. Hang on, uh, there's 500 screws in there. There's no screws in there. No screws in that box. There shouldn't be any screws in any of these boxes because um, it's a one to one feed. Oh, it's a one one feed, but apparently that is full. Um, right, okay. Let's just squeeze in a craft bench in here. <laughs> there's no reason why you... Uh, you're not in space and inventory. Oh, okay. Um, 
I will get rid of uh, that. And don't think there's anything else I really need to get rid of. Okay. Computers then. Um, what are we going to be short on? I don't know. We can make several of them. And I'm trying to think now, what else is there to build? What else? What else is there to build? I need more plastic. Wow, who would have thought? Um, actually, maybe you, if you've done the maths. I just picked up as much as I could and then headed off. Um, right, so we're going to go this way. Oh, this is always combust here and there's always a bit of a... A twinge of disappointment that we got rid of the truck. I was going to say I had to get rid of the truck, but we technically didn't have to. Uh, we could have driven it a bit better and whatnot, but yeah, it's not exactly a, a huge loss. At least the belt, we know that that's not going to be uh, of any. There's not going to be any big problem there. That's the thing. The belt is just a better idea all around because it doesn't run out of power, um, and it doesn't. Um, if it's going back and forward, doesn't have any issues there. So yeah, it's just the better thing to do. Um, there we go, there's that, so another craft bench will be placed in here. You can just place craft benches all over the place, it doesn't matter, you know, it's just, just it's not as if um, there's any great shortage of uh, craft benches, and I'm going to run out of cable straight away, aren't I? So, can I take as much, right, what, what can I get rid of that I don't really need? Uh, well, we don't need the rubber, we don't need the two of those. We need that, we need that. We don't need... Is that stealing it? Get rid of that. Uh, don't need all that. And don't need that. Right, there's a lot of room. So I'm going to pick up some plastic. One, two, three. That should hopefully be fine. I'm going to go over and get the circuit boards. Which is 19 there, which means there'll be 100 in here. Which there is, so I'm going to pick that up. We now have five computers. Hang on. We'll wait a little bit longer. And... I'm sure that stopped for a second there. There's another computer. Right. So we have enough computers. Uh, oh, no, we don't. We need 50, not 15. Uh, right, okay. That's quite a lot. Um, so I'm just thinking of what else is there to build now in the game. Well, there's several things. We haven't got uh, tier 4 belts. We haven't got uh, fuel power plants because... We haven't. There's no good reason other than we, uh, we're we not producing um, fuel, I guess. We actually don't have the... We don't have the belt fully made. We got, we got the belt from the two oil, uh, two oil um, derricks. We brought those up the massive ramp and got it to the top of there and then quickly did a, a sort of cursory check of like, mm, just how much we're going to need here and we found out that there's no way that we're going to be able to uh, run all of those belts um, a, a double belt all the way back here and we just we we give up on that we just went no it's not gonna happen so we ran a singular one so we can produce rubber and we could produce the uh, plastic which is the main thing but the other belt which was going to be for whatever whatever was required uh, we didn't bother running and that would probably be turned into the fuel um, and once we have fuel, we can then have fuel power plants. What are we short of here? Cables. Well, that's good because this is exactly where the cables are situated at, which is why I'm standing here. Um, so, that is basically it uh, for that one, for the fuel side of things. Uh, what are we short on now? Uh, plastic. And how many of these do we have? 49. Just never ends, man. Just never ends. <laughs> Need one more. Um, you know what I might do? Might, I might be able to get away with this. Hang on. Let's jump over here and over here. And I believe in one of these boxes, this one I think, yes, I do have ten oil on me. So can I just make some plastic from that? Yes, I can. And I need a lot more. So I'm going to just, just get rid of that. Um, oh, actually, wait. No, no, no. My mistake. We've already got 11 in there. So, jetpack. R&D inflated your pocket dimension and has provided a jetpack which operates on oil-based fuel for increased navigational capabilities as well as odds of survival. So, you can see we need to produce a jetpack. Uh, we need plastic, 
rubber, um, cable, and circuit boards. We have the majority of that, apart from even if we build this, we, we have another issue. Um, I'm going to build one of these. Uh, I'm going to build an equipment workshop. And rubber. There's a jetpack. However, you did hear it quite clearly say <laughs> we need fuel. And we don't have that. There's the jetpack. Um, so no no Blade Runners anymore. And woo! <laughs> right. That's going to change things. And has the entire factory just shut down? I think it might have, you know. It has. It's just went over its limit. Wow. Okay. Did not expect that. Um... So we have a bit of an issue. I'm going to take all that oil. Um, I need fuel. Can I make it directly? I can make it directly. There we go. There's that fine. Um, we're out of power. I think that's fully... Is that built? All of them are built. Um, okay. We got a biomass burner and a coal generator but we don't have unlocked the uh, we don't have the fuel unlocked because that's a uh, logistics mark 4 I think it's called okay um hmm there's the jetpack refilled which is good yeah that that's a that's a game changer the jetpack is a game changer and not just because we can go up really high like so but Mainly because uh, we can get to places like, well, up there, for example. Um, crunch. Um, it's interesting that it doesn't refuel on the go. It has to like, empty and then refuel. Um, okay. Let me pick up this wood for a second, because I think this is the only way we're going to get this working. Um, we're going to produce some biomass and we're going to get biofuel. Who would have thought we'd be going back to biofuel for a bit? Because even though the two generators on the back of this thing are only biofuel, at least they're some sort. At least it's some sort of power. Um, I'm going to put these in now because I don't want the truck running out of uh, running out of fuel. That's producing. That's producing, and that should just take us up to the right amount. No, it's went over. Right. Okay. Um, I think I know where the problem will lie. It's the overclocking. The overclocking just massively uh, increases the amount of power. Oh, damn it. I was gonna <laughs> gonna say I'll get up there, but I cannot because it doesn't have any power and also the jetpack isn't powerful enough to take me up there. I thought you'd go a bit faster with the jet with the jetpack, but you do not. It looks like it recharges when, it, when you land. I thought it recharged when you uh, I thought it recharged when you uh, empty the tank, but you don't. Um, right, so what have we got overclocked? We've got all this overclocked, haven't we? Um, we'll take an overclocking off that. We'll take overclocking off that. And all of these, just because that should be about right for us. And we don't need to produce... We don't have to, we don't have, to have a double overclock on that. Um, that will hopefully... Good grief. Come on. <laughs> it's run a little bit close to the limit, I think, there, isn't it? <laughs> That's going to turn off. I can see. Oh, it's creeping. It's going to go over. No, no, it's back down. Right. I think we can safely say that that is um, running at pretty much max capacity now. Um, so we need more fuel. We need more power, really. Uh, let's go down and see what the longer-term solution is. Um, you know what? I think I prefer the Blade Runners. Um, I think the jetpack is all right for of, well for vertical travel. It's very good. A jetpack generally classed as a 
acceptable for that uh, situation. However, the Blade Runners allow you to jump further and run a lot faster. So for just getting around the factory, I think they're the the better choice. Uh, I'm going to fill up the um, generators behind us, the biofuel generators, and I'm going to see what the long-term solution for this would be. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Let's have a check. Right, so we have gas mask. Um, that will allow us to go through things like uh, that horribleness over there because um, there's a lot of gas there and yeah it hurts <laughs> and the other one is expanded power infrastructure fuel generator consumes fuel to generate electricity for your grid um, power grid has input so feeding fuel can be automated that's good and also we have um, the belt mark fours as well let me just fill up these right uh, you can see now the power is dropped uh, quite a bit. I'm guessing there was just it's just that little extra spike. You always get the spike when you turn all the factory back on. Um, there's no way to ramp up parts of it unless you physically separate bits of it. I wonder if they're going to put substations in and um, things that and like capacitors so you can any excess power um, you can store. But it oh, doesn't really work like that, does it? It just produces what it needs. It doesn't like overproduce that things don't uh, constantly fire up. Anyway, um, so I guess we'll get rid of that. Uh, we don't need okay, we'll keep that. Um, so to get expanded power infrastructure requires fifty of the frames, which we have on us. A hundred mortars, which we do not, but it's a quick task to get them. Computers which are being built as we speak, and that's it. That is it. Uh, this is now producing, which is good. Anyway, mortars were over here. Um, this is where the mortars uh, are being produced, and as you can see, we've got lots of them. Um, because the next tier um, doesn't exist yet. It only goes up to um, tier four, uh, tier five and six. Um, yeah, we don't, we don't really have them uh, going anywhere. Uh, that's a thing. Let's uh, have a quick run back, and we'll see how far the uh, oil line goes up to. Let's take those. Um, I wonder if there's any spares. I'm hoping we've got some spares. Hang on. Will there be any in here? No. Any in here? No. Nah. These need to be overclocked. Oh, look, it stopped. Um, oh, no, the truck's moving. You can see the truck is moving. In fact, you can see it coming down now, in fact. So that was uh, handy. Is it going to overshoot again? Yes, it is. <laughs> um, do I want to build a vehicle and drive self? Uh, I think we do, but I don't have any... don't have any of these beacons, so... There's ten. And truck. Yes! Big truck. I uh, don't want to drive the truck, we want to use the workbench on the back. What if we put fuel in it? You can put fuel in it. Actual fuel. I wonder how that affects it. I think it is the most energy dense thing that's in the game so far. Um, in terms of exploring, where I'm going now, if you keep going sort of north, northwest, you will head to an area where um, there's like caves and caverns and all sorts. I mean, what we've seen in this entire series, which is um, getting quite long, is probably. 15-20% of the map if we'd been generous, I would I would guesstimate. Um, there's a lot more. I mean, there's not a great there's not a great deal there because you've got resources like say like uh, uranium and things like that. They just in quartz that you just don't use at the moment. Um, but still, 
Oh, oh, find it or grind it. There we go. <laughs> um, so the... This is the oil line. I'm going to probably stop there because I can actually run faster than it. It's got a lot of torque, but it's in terms of mm, top speed, not so much. Not very good. Um, so this belt runs quite a ways. And obviously just the top line is being used at the moment. We need the bottom line to come along as well. Because that's where we can... Well, we were going to use that for our fuel. We wanted a dedicated fuel source. Although, to be fair, we've got so much... Good grief, how far does this go? <laughs> I didn't realise it was this long. Um, yeah, we need, a, we need a dedicated fuel source for the, uh, for the power generators. Is it gonna... Don't say it just stops at the... I think it does just stop at the... Uh, at the... Beach. I must have removed it. In fact, yeah, now that I come to think of it, I did remove it all. Just to use the rest of it. Just to use them resources to bring the stuff up. Oh, there's a power slug. I'll go and get that in a second. Because we can now, we can jump up and over. Um, right, okay. So we've literally come all the way back to the oil supply. You can see where it comes in and where we stopped. There we go. It's on the bottom one. Right, we will begin. We're not going to get it all the way there. If we get to the top of the hill, we'll be lucky. Um, yeah, tier threes are needed because I think they're producing... I think it's 140 a minute, uh, 240 a minute, something like that. Either way, there's a reason I've used tier threes for the first uh, part of it. Um, all the way along. Now oh, we need to get up there. I say about this jetpack, opens up so much more of the game. It really does. So let's go over here and. Can we get up there directly? No, I think we just have to use the... Do it in stages. No, no, we probably could have done that. There we are. So the jetpack allows us to get to a yellow power slug, which will be able to give us, uh, I think it's two. Two uh, of the overclocking modules you get off that. And um... Hmm. Don't think this part's finished. Oh, there's something over there as well. But also... You get to a point... Limestone pure, I know. Um, I think we're past that. Um, get to a point where there's also um, reasons to have the jetpack on, as well as uh, the gas mask. You need both, which is, I'm guessing, you can put... Okay. Oh, uh, that's a question. Can you... Where's the? Where does the gas mask uh, go? I think it goes in... Uh, I think it goes in the... Backpack slot? Like the same as the jetpack and the Blade Runners. Wow, is that us? Is that is that it? We literally ran out of resources before we even got halfway up here. Wow, excellent. Anyway, we are going to leave it there. Um, next episode, then, we will get expanded power infrastructure and possibly think about getting some of that up and running. Although, I'm very aware that at this stage, there's nothing else to build. There's just two things to unlock. Uh, we would unlock the gas mask and the expanded power infrastructure, and that's everything unlocked and everything that we can build uh, there. And the... I guess the reason to continue would be it's still fun or not. Yes, still enjoying it. However, also acutely aware that everything else from here would be uh, probably going to be focused around efficiency and extra production so it would be things like uh, finding more power slugs going to areas where we haven't been before to find more power slugs it would be uh, the art of doing it because of doing it so yeah we'll see about that one but anyway next episode like i said we'll uh, we'll have a check and we'll see what we can do and um see what uh, decisions can be made and did that truck stop there for a moment or did it hit something i don't know. Oh, it's, I, I have no idea. It's got a mind of its own. <laughs> this truck's a lot more stable than the... Well, I say a truck. I, I 
I group all of the ve both vehicles in the game as trucks, but I guess technically this is the truck and the other one's a tractor. This is a lot more stable than the tractor. But um, in terms of braking, uh, not so much. But it's uh, it's got some suspension, which is nice. It's got a nice ride, corners quite nicely, so you don't uh, you don't end up oversteering like you do on the other one. Um, uh, the problem is uh, the the lack of braking. I'm sort of bouncing around here, so if I start braking now, uh, hang on, wait, I'll straighten it up now. Yeah, you saw, <laughs> just sort of skid out. <laughs> anyway, as I said, next episode, we'll have a look and see what we can produce, as always. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.